Solving proportions with number chips. This is a digital lesson and it's fun for the students. They can move these number chips around their screen in order to solve the proportions. This one is pirate themed. The instructions are on slide two. Students are going to start on slide three. They're going to be moving these number chips into place in order to solve the proportion. So we want to find the missing numbers. So here they're either going to be scaling up or scaling down on the first two slides. So here they can see that they're scaling up by multiplying by four. That would mean that this number has to be a four. Now the next one, they're scaling down by dividing by five. That means 35 divided by five would have to be seven. Now they're gonna use every single number. So every slide has every number the students need. If they get down toward the end and the numbers aren't working, they know they've made an error somewhere and they need to go back and check. So in that way, it's self-checking. Another way it's self-checking is that when they get to the final slide, there's going to be a pirate riddle. They're going to solve that by moving certain number chips to the side and then typing in the, num the letter that's underneath. If they've done it correctly, they will solve the riddle. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So slide two is the same, scaling up or scaling down. When they get to slides five and six, they cannot scale up or scale down. They're going to use means and extremes. So what that means is the numbers that are diagonally across from each other are going to have the same product. So eight times five is 40. That means 20 times this number has to also be 40. So that makes it a two. Four times nine is 36. So 12 times three would also be 36. If these numbers were larger, they would have to set up a, an equation. So 9 times 4 equals 12 times x, and then solve for the variable. They're going to do the same thing on slide 6. Slide 7 has some proportional or some tables, and they may be proportional or not. They have to determine that. So here they look at the table. And they can see that they're multiplying their x term times 5 to get the y term. Same thing here. But it doesn't work when they get to this column. So in order for this table to be proportional, all of the ratios have to be equivalent. And so since they're not, we're going to highlight no. So they're going to click on it. They're going to come up here to this fill color feature. They're going to choose any color they like to highlight their answer. They've got three more tables to determine whether they're proportional, so the ratios have to be equivalent. And then they highlight yes or no. When they get down to the final slide, they have all of these colored chips. They have to go through the previous slide. So when they're going to look for a green eight that looks just like this, when they find it, they're going to move it to the side. There will be a letter underneath, and they're going to type that letter in. They're going to do that same thing with all of these different numbers. So you can see these two are going to end up being the same letter. If they've done all of these correctly, they will solve the riddle. What, what do you call a pirate who likes to skip school? So this is a digital lesson solving proportions with number chips.